Let's go. What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing this, but I never get tired of saying it. Today is gonna be a good one. For those of you that are active on Kickstarter, you're probably familiar with a buddy of mine, Luke Wadey. Luke is a very talented graphic designer within the community, very successful in funding his projects on Kickstarter. He's also somebody that I am currently collaborating with. Uh, we just did a Kickstarter together, the Generation 1 playing cards. Still a few days left to go on that campaign, by the way. So if you guys are looking for some awesome cards, you know where to go. Anyway, in 2020, Luke had a Kickstarter for his new Mono series playing cards. If you guys aren't familiar with Mono, there is a lot of different versions of that deck, but his most recent one is the Mono Hexa playing cards. These were put on Kickstarter and feature a little bit more color than we're used to seeing from Luke Wadey, and I am really digging it. However, we didn't just get the Mono Hexa deck, we also got the Mono Hexa Chroma Edition playing cards on that very same Kickstarter, and these are the ones that I am the most excited to tell you guys about today. All that and more coming up, but before we get into it, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. All right, so this Kickstarter campaign had two decks that came with it. A lot of Kickstarter campaigns do that. They kind of have a stretch goal for one extra deck. The thing is the stretch goal, which is the Chroma edition of this deck is actually the one that I'm the most excited about. As a result, that's probably the one that we are gonna be reviewing in detail today. However, if you guys are interested in learning more about the original Mono Hexa deck, here's just a quick overview of what the series is and what the other decks look like. So this is the fourth child, I guess, in the Mono series. It started with the Mono X deck, which was black and white. Really cool monochromatic concept by Luke Wadey. It kicked off the Mono series, which in my opinion is probably Luke's uh, most popular design. Definitely, in my opinion, the best series. Anyway, the first one was the Mono X deck. It was done in black and white, all monochromatic, so shades of black, gray, or white. Then there was a Kickstarter for the Mono Zero decks printed by Cartamundi. Those decks came in red and blue and featured a circle. Then we have the Mono Hexa. This one doesn't have X's or circles, but it has a hexagon and uses the color purple. So all of the colors in this deck are different shades of purple, starting from super light, super light purple, all the way down to dark violet, almost black. I also reviewed this prototype, so I don't want to get too much into it. However, the final product came out so much better. The shade of purple, it's like a very, very like royal purple, almost like almost like a stock purple, which I really, really like actually. And I'm not really big on purple decks. This deck kind of, it's something new for me for sure. Anyway, that is the Mono Hexa deck, but I really want to talk about the Mono Hexa Chroma Edition deck. So let's get into that. I'm gonna have to open a fresh one, by the way, because I've been using this one for the past week since fulfillment. And I think to give you guys the full experience, I might want to open up a new deck. Yeah, the cellophane pops off there. Ooh. Lucky again. We're getting lucky with this. Look at this. Easy. All right, so your tuck box looks like this. Look at this, super metallic purple. Ooh. That looks so good. So this tuck box is done in metallic purple ink, which I think makes it look a little bit more elegant, a little bit more elevated from the classic Mono Hexa. It's also got way more of a minimal tuck box. There's almost nothing on it except for some hexagons and some text, of course, if you know Luke, he's into that. Both sides of the deck feature Luke's logo with a hexagon and the title of the deck, which is Mono Hexa Chroma Edition. Front of the tuck box just says Mono Hexa Chroma Edition, and then you can see there's a half a hexagon at the top and bottom. Really, really, really clever and really inspiring uh, to see Luke's design work on the tuck box because with the Mono series, all the tuck boxes have the same format. It's very necessary because they're part of the series. This is definitely something new, and I just think it looks so good. In terms of a tuck box for a standard deck of cards, you really can't get much more elegant than that. You get some ad copy on the bottom, which is super exciting. <laughs> you get a finished version of the hexagon on the top, and it is covered by this amazing numbered seal. So this deck was limited to 1,000 in the print run. I was very fortunate. Luke sent me over some extra ones because I love this deck so much. So 
Uh, if you guys are interested, definitely don't wait until this review is over. Go grab some decks now and then come back and watch the video. The back design of the box is of course the back design of the cards and I can't wait to get into it. So let's pop this open. Yes. All right, your back design looks like this. Very clean, very simple, but yet something about it is so captivating. I really like it because the purple is actually metallic. So it's metallic purple ink. There's kind of a, an absence of color, which makes up that hexagon in the middle. And then you get this nice thin white border. It's very crisp and very clean. This deck was made to be more uh, for working magicians. If you guys know Luke Wadey, a lot of his decks don't really lend themselves to people that want to do card work with them, at least not in performances. So this deck is more, I think, geared towards people that want to use Luke Wadey's designs, but still be able to perform some magic and have a usable deck of cards for that instance. And you know what, Luke? It worked, man, because it looks awesome. Your Ace of Spades looks like this. This is really cool too. It doesn't look like a traditional Luke Wadey Ace of Spades at all. Definitely not. Uh, but it's it's hexagons that make up the shape, which is really interesting. And it kind of has this metallic shine to it. You can see the white and black accents in there really help contrast it and make it sparkle off of the card. It also says Mono Hexa Chroma Edition and then of course, Luke Wadey's logo there at the bottom. You're pretty much gonna see that everywhere on a Luke Wadey deck. Nothing wrong with it. You might also notice that you still do get your custom pips and indices. However, they have been kind of tweaked and tuned a little bit so you can still use this deck for magic. So we're gonna be talking about that, but not right now. You are going to get identical metallic jokers. Look at this. This is the this is the face of the joker. So you have your regular back design and then a metallic purple face with that nice contrasting white hexagon on it. These jokers are sick. This alone almost would make a really cool back design. As simple as it is, I really think so. You can see in like much lighter purple, it says Mono Hexa Chroma Edition at the bottom and then it says Joker in the corners. Uh, I, I love these jokers. I love these jokers more than any of Luke Wadey's jokers, including generation one. I think these are the best ones. Honestly, if you guys see photos of these on my Instagram, um, it's probably gonna be photos of the jokers before any of the other cards. I just love them so much. All right, now in terms of ad cards and gaff cards, this is a deck made for magicians, so you are gonna get two gaff cards. The first one is a double backer, which comes with most of Luke Wadey's decks and I believe all of the mono decks. The other one is really interesting because it seems like it's just a regular duplicate. So you do get an extra queen of hearts, but the difference is that this one has a reveal and that is for the 10 of diamonds. So you can use this as a reveal, but it also pays an homage to Luke Wadey's misses or his recent fiance. Uh, Luke also put a little tiny diamond ring on the finger of the queen. I'll try to get in nice and close so you guys can see it, but if you can't take my word for it, it's there. Or you can always buy the deck and see for yourself. Really cool gaff cards, great ace of spades, love the jokers. Back design is sick, but the faces are also really cool. So let's get into that. All right, so you can see that the faces are a little bit different than you would see like on a standard workers deck, but definitely still usable. So you can see the pips are custom, the indices are custom, but still a very recognizable. You look at that, you know it's the five of diamonds. And also this one is not done in monochromatic. So the pips are done in red, which is more usable again for magic. Uh, so the faces came out really, really good. I like this for Luke. The other versions of the mono decks have amazing customization on the faces, but it's very, very custom. It's so custom that it's hard to use for magic. A deck like this, it's really not that much more custom than like, you know, just a different shape for the pips or a recoloring. So still very, very usable and looks really good, really clean. It matches the deck, which is the most important thing. It would have been easy to just do standard faces and you know, it would have been easy to even market it that way as a deck made for performers. But I like that the extra effort went into still keeping the pips and indices custom, that Luke Wadey type of custom, but easier to recognize for people that want to use it in performance. We get some great Luke Wadey court customs as well. You can see that they are still wearing purple, which is important because the deck is very purple. Uh, but the pips and indices again are red. There's no border around the card, which I really like for the faces. I think that looks nice and clean. And as you can see, they look so good. This, especially like the spades and clubs, just the black and purple. I love that. I think it looks really cool. Ooh, man, these cards feel so good. So these cards are printed on 
crushed premium paper, so they are gonna feel extremely good right out of the box. They're crushed, so they're gonna feel nice and thin, uh, but because they're premium paper, they're gonna last a little bit longer. They're gonna really, really be durable, and they're gonna feel good the entire time you're using them. So uh, after I broke these in especially, they feel even better than they did before. That's really important too, because if you're a working magician and you're out shuffling cards, and uh, using this deck over and over from table to table, you want a deck that is not only gonna hold up, but also feel good while it's holding up. So definitely great job there. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode and my review of the new Mono Hexa Chroma Edition playing cards by Luke Wadey. Luke, I'm sure at some point you will be watching this. So let me just tell you, this is definitely my favorite deck from you so far. I have to exclude Gen 1, obviously, since we worked on it together, but this deck is fantastic. Thank you so much for sending some extra ones. I promise to use and abuse every last one of them. Now for you guys, if you're interested in picking up either the Mono Hexa Chroma Edition or the Mono Hexa OG version, both of these decks are available now at Luke's website, so I have left the link in the description below. If you wanna support Luke, the best way to do it is to buy directly from his website. So the link is there, you can go check it out. I appreciate you guys. I know Luke does too. If you guys wanna support me, you can definitely do that by dropping a like on this video if you did like it, and I hope you'll consider subscribing for more awesome videos just like this. With all that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I know I will, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Let's go.